Hello there everyone, Stormy Strike here and in this video I'm going to be unboxing my first box of Beasts of the Mesozoic, I believe that's how you pronounce it, raptor figures and I'm so excited. These, this like first box is the raptor nestlings and the accessory packs and then I'll be getting another box in about a month or so, maybe more which will have all the adult raptors in it and I'm so excited. These are done by Creative Beast Studios and I actually have bought a model kit from him before in the past before this even started but I got these from a Kickstarter and I've been waiting actually over a year for these and I'm like super excited that they're finally here, they're finally done. So let's get right to it then. Oh my goodness, there they are! Let's pull them out. Oh. Briefly look at each one and then we'll go in and look at them more closely. So here is the Wetlands Environment Accessory Pack Beast of Mesozoic Raptor Series. This is so cool. There it is, Created Beast Studios. Beautiful packaging. The artwork on these are also going to be just super amazing. This is just really exciting. Let's see some of the other accessory packs here. There is the forest environment one with the little cool micro raptor there in the front. I love how these have different colors too. Boxes are different colors. Looks really cool. Here is the mountains environment accessory pack. Really cool looking. Then there's one more accessory pack underneath the babies here. Here is the, oh my goodness, there they are on the front, you can actually see them. There's the little babies, this is the gray nestlings, so adorable. These are the black nestlings, super cool. Here are the amber, amber colored nestlings. We'll take a look at all of these things closer in just a minute. And here's the last accessory pack, which is the desert environment one. So, so cool. Look at all of these raptor goodies. Now I'm going to go through and do them each kind of individually. I'll try not to go into too much detail so this video isn't super long, but we will take a look at all of these. We'll take a look at the little babies first. Now, I believe they are all kind of like the same mold, like these ones. They're all kind of the same, except they're different colors. So we will go ahead and take a look at those little guys. They are different, like different models from like each raptor in each set. But I mean, this top raptor, these three top raptors should be pretty much the same. These three middle ones should be pretty much the same, aside from their paint jobs. So we'll take a brief look here at the packaging first. So we got a clear front that actually shows the little babies inside and their little stands. It says Nestlings Black. Got all these fun little package details. I love the little artworks of the babies like faces on the side there. It's really cute. And I love the artwork on the back. It's really cool and it will say who designed and sculpted it, which is David Sylvia, and then a package art. The package art does vary between some of these series, so they are really, really cool. Again, the same on the side there. And then there's the top. So now we'll go ahead and actually open these up. We have this really cool background art as well, I just kind of noticed, which I believe is, yeah, like the same artwork on the back. But it's also on the back there, which is really cool. Really sorry for the glare, by the way. Then here they are with the plastic cover off. I'll go ahead and pop these little guys out. And here are these three little guys. They are absolutely adorable. So as you can see, there are three different little baby raptors with all pretty similar coloring and patterns. And then they also have little bases, which actually seem to be pretty much the same. They're the same mold and same paint job. You can see those there. And they have a little little like ball joint peg here, which I believe is to be able to display 
the little raptors and stand them up. So we will try that in a moment. Let's first take a look at this little guy. He is so adorable. The amount of articulation in these guys is really amazing for how small they are. And they actually aren't like super tiny. They're a little bit bigger than I imagined. I originally imagined them to be like really, really tiny. But I'm actually glad that these little bit bigger size than I expected. I think they are really cute. So as we can see here, the tail moves. You can rotate it around kind of like in a 360 way. And it is a little bit bendable as well. You can bend their tail into different shapes. Check that out. That is so cool. These are just, oh my gosh, these are amazing. Their legs are uh, posable. You can move them back and forth and a little bit to the side. This one you can move over to the side a little more. Back forth. Whoa, you can actually go all the way around with that one. Check that out. Lots of articulation. This one can't quite go 360, but this one can. That's pretty impressive. Wow, look at that. They have little uh, joint, let you have a joint part right here at their torso that bends right there, which is really cool. That can go side to side. Their arms are also on a ball joint, and you can move their arms up and down, up and down that way. You can turn them, move them up and down a bit like that. Really cool. And then another point of articulation at their neck. Move their uh, necks up and down. They can turn around all the way there. And then their little bitty jaws should also be articulated here. Seems a little stiff. Doesn't want to come open too well on this one. There we go. Just a little stiff. But there is that little jaw. So their jaws actually open and close as well. So you can pose these little guys in some probably pretty awesome ways for how small they are. They have so many points of articulation though. They are really, really amazing. I love the fact that their tails bend. The adult raptors will also have this feature and I think that is just super cool. So there's that little guy. We'll briefly go over the same kind of thing with this one which is kind of in a more crouching pose. So he's got a little bit of a different sculpt. He has a, his head turned this way. Again, he has like a jaw that's supposed to open and close a little bit. It doesn't open too far, but it does a little bit. Super cool. Again, the arms should be able to move in a lot of different ways there. Now since his feet, and his, I mean his legs are sculpted in this crouching position, he can uh, not move quite as much, but he still can pr move actually pretty far. Pretty cool, so you can have him in all kinds of fun crouching poses. And then again, tail moves and is also bendable. And then this guy, same kind of deal as our other one here, just a little bit different, I think. Not extremely different, but he has a little bit different sculpt on the feet, actually. If you look at their feet, this one has a different different sculpt on the foot there. It's kind of more in like an upright, almost mid-run pose or mid-jump mid or something. If you can see the difference between those two feet there, that's really cool. And their arms might be a little different as well, how they're posed and sculpted. Yeah, they are a bit different, you can see there. And how their heads are as well. This one's kind of looking more like that, kind of at a 90, 90 degree angle. Well, this one has his head pointed up more. You can see that. Really cute. And for the paint job on these guys, they look really cool. Really nicely done. Pretty darn detailed. They have like this really interesting like white rim around their eye. Their eye is black. You can see they have like this kind of peachy tan color on like their muzzle kind of of their face there. Really pretty like dark gray coloring and a little bit of black in there. And then they have a whiter underbelly. Some really nice like dry brushing on them. They look really cool. So there are those three little babies. Now I'm gonna try and play around a little bit with how you can pose them on their little bases here. So their feet have a little hole in the bottom there. This one has holes in both feet. 
This one has a hole in one foot, and this one has a, full, a hole in one foot. Alright, I was having some trouble with this one getting the foot in there, so for time's sake, I got this guy's little foot in there instead. So, yeah, you just like put the little peg through their foot, and then you should be, well, okay, the peg just fell out. So, that's a little, it's a little tricky to get that to work right, I feel like. But once you get it in there, you can have some fun with that. Look at that. So you can pose this guy into all kinds of fun poses and not have to worry about trying to get it to stand up. You can have all kinds of fun poses with your raptors. Oh, these are just really, really cool. I am super, super excited about these. Now I'm going to show these other ones, but I won't go into as much detail. I'm mostly just going to talk about their color differences since they are the same like molds as these other action figures. For time's sake, we'll just look over one of the raptors from each of the sets here. So this is the gray raptor, and this is the amber one, and this is the black one that we already looked at. So here is the gray one, which as you can see is quite a bit different than the black one. It's a light, lighter gray, and it has a much brighter orange and yellow face there. And it doesn't have those like white rims around the eye. It still has a pale underbelly, but its underbelly is more white, and there's more white on its legs compared to the black one. And its feet are also a orangey tan color. So we can see that adorable little guy there. His base is also different. Instead of the brown and green, it is more of a green and gray. So it's like a gray rock instead of this brown. For the amber one here, now this one has a lot more fun colors packed in here because it's got these crazy stripes. So this one has some really pretty kind of orange and brown on its head and wings and on its legs there. And the, most of its body is this kind of nice tan, light yellow color. And then it's got these fun black and white stripes on it. Look at those cool, cool stripes on its tail. That looks really, really cool. All the way down its back, down its sides, and even has some striping on its legs and its arms. Again, it's got some really nice dry brushing details. I'm really liking how these guys were painted and they are painted really nicely for a fairly mass produced model. And the feet actually have some really interesting details like more than just a solid color to them, they again have more of that dry brushing and stuff, so you can see some more detail in them. The little claws are actually individually painted black. Just some really cool details. I love the little black claws on him there too. And the mouths are detailed. I forgot to show that on these other guys, but their little insides of their mouths are also detailed. You can see the individual little teeth painted. You can see their little pink tongues. They're all sculpted and painted. Really, really cool. And I love those little cute black eyes. It seems like they could use a little more gloss on the eyes to make them pop out a little bit more, a little bit more. But they are still really, really nice and really detailed. I can't get over how detailed these little figures are. So there is the amber one. We'll also look at his base compared to the others. So the amber base, amber uh, nestling base, has again, we have some green on here, but this is more of a lighter bright green. And it has a kind of weathered looking brown and tannish colored rock. So there are the little nestling baby raptors. And now let's get into the accessory packs. To start off, here is the Mountains Environment Accessory Pack with the Trodon Formosus. I, I hope I pronounce these somewhat right. Very sorry if I do not, but I love this cover art. It's really pretty. I'm really sorry that the glare of my light is kind of ruining that, but this picture is just super gorgeous. So it says on the side, accessory pack tells you everything that's included as well. It includes the diorama accessories, basic raptor figure, large display base, jumping rod and small posing rod. So let's go ahead and open this up then. 
So the box just kind of slides off the top here to reveal the accessory pack. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is really something. And then we also have a little instructions on the back of the inside of the box here to tell you how to do all this. Insert uh, ball pegs into base, how to remove the ball pegs, how to attach the tail to the raptor, just showing you all the different things, how to put it all together. So if you are confused about anything, this will tell you all of it. So that is really, really cool. Here is this pack and let's open it up and see everything. Oh my goodness, there are so many fun goodies here. We also got a bag here with some of the fun, fun stuff we'll be checking out. I also wanted to show you what the back of the inside of the box looks like. It's this really pretty mountain scene, so if you wanted to, you could probably pose your raptor in front of this. And if you did it just right, take a picture and it would look like your raptor is out in this pretty mountain scene. So here is everything that is going to be included in these accessory packs. Unfortunately, I can't put the tree together because some of these parts are kind of not cleaned out enough on the inside for this to be able to physically fit in there. It's not a huge problem to fix, I'll just take an X-Acto knife to it and carve it out a little bit more so I can get this to fit. But unfortunately we cannot see the tree completed in this video. The detail on these are really amazing. I want to get a quick, quick look here at the detail on the tree. I love this sculpt work. It has a really cool texture to it. The branches of this tree are also really cool and really nicely detailed. I like how it has a little bit of a snowy top to it. Also included are some accessories for the base, which include some neat little rock pieces. Like here's just a little rock piece. Here's a little added base piece and a cool little fern. Really cool little base and I'll show you that. It's actually a pretty nice size. As you can see, it's a pretty good size accessory base. So it's got some really neat dark gray at the base and then has some nice green, some dry brushing white, and some white areas. Really gives that nice, neat, kind of snowy mountaintop feel without it being too snowy. And then also here is perhaps one of my favorite things. This is so incredibly cool. This is the little nest that comes with this. And it just looks so, so cool. I love how these eggs are painted with the little brown speckles. Looks really neat. And so there is that. And also included, look, it's a little, a little tiny little egg with a little baby raptor hatching out of it. The raptor doesn't have a whole lot of detail because it is so tiny, but it is neat and it has a neat, neat painted egg. And the egg does have some detail with that kind of fleshy, pinkish, reddish color on the inside there. So that is really cute and so you can have your little hatching baby in there however you see fit. So this is a really neat set and you can also display like the tree and stuff using the ball pegs in here and then we also have different stands for the raptor including the long jumping rod here and a shorter rod. There's quite a few pieces included in here. I kind of didn't want to take them all out because I was afraid I might start losing them but there is a lot here. It's also that interesting little piece. So you have all kinds of different things help you pose your raptors and make a scene with your accessories here. Here's the raptor itself, which I was not able to get his tail on right now. I'll have to try it again later, but the tail is super really pretty. Detailed with that dark and light, kind of white, light gray striping going on. Really nicely done. This little guy is pretty cool. Neat little raptor. And he has articulated legs. He does not have a articulation point at his torso, but he has has the legs and his arms move and you can get them in some pretty neat poses. And the neck does have some articulation where you can move it around to 
pose it a bit. It has an articulated jaw. Super nicely painted. This one has a little bit more detail going on in the eye. It has like three colors going on in the eye, the pupil and the iris. Inside of the mouth is sculpted and painted. Some pretty dry brushing work on this guy as well. Now I'll do the forest environment pack here. And I realized just now is that I'm actually kind of going backwards. This is technically pack number three. The mountain pack was number four. The wetlands pack is number one and the desert one is considered number two. So they are technically numbered, but we're just kind of going in backwards right now. So here is the forest environment pack. Again, I love the artwork on the front of it there. So let's go ahead and slide this off. On the inside, again, it looks like we have some instructions on the inside of the box. So there are the instructions for this set. And then here is the set itself. Super cool. I'm loving this Raptor already. This was one that I was really excited to get. We got some fun tree trunks, and tree parts in here. And then we also have a really pretty background. This one looks more like it's in a forest with the sun shining through. Really, really pretty picture. So here is all that is included in the Forest Raptor set. And once again, I was not able to get the tree together. I was able to get this top part on this one this time. That fitted fine. But this part, there must have been something that went wrong in the molding process because I just cannot seem to find a physical way to actually get this to go together. I don't know if I just have a bad batch or something. But it's not a huge deal. It's pretty easy to fix. And honestly, that's like the only possibly negative thing I could say about these sets so far. Again, super de detailed, and even though this is the same tree, it looks very different from the other one. This one is a much more lush green, and the trunk of the tree is a lot more like dark brown, like very really lush, foresty colors going on here, instead of the kind of frosty winter one. We have an absolutely adorable little egg nest here. These eggs are painted uh, solid colors though, instead of the speckled ones like the forest back. These ones are a nice solid kind of almost blue-green, light, light blue-green color. And again, we have a little, little itty, little bitty baby raptor coming out of an egg. And this one is painted a little bit differently. This raptor is like all black and gray instead of the other one, which was more of a gray color. We have another little base for the raptors. Have more of the rods and ball joints and things like that. There's this really cool log, which actually has a little peg on it, which I am assuming is for the little micro raptor to be able to stand on. This log is like super crazy detailed. It looks really cool. I love the textures on it, and what I especially love is how these different parts where the tree is like broken. It looks really realistic in how it is sculpted and painted. This part especially, it just looks exactly like a fallen tree with like torn, torn up inside parts looks like. I really don't know what, like what, what words I'm saying right now, but this just looks really nicely done, really nicely painted and just really, really cool accessory piece. Again, I did not get the tail on the raptors. I don't know what is wrong with me today if I just do not have the strength right now. But these are really cool. Really cool bendy tail here. I love the color on this raptor. He is just really cool. And this is the micro raptor. It is just so feathery. And I love these blues. And there's even a little bit of purple in this coloring. I really like that he's not just a flat, plain color at all. These, All of these raptor figures are just like really nicely detailed and painted in very vibrant colors. These colors are even a little metallic-y, like this purple color I'm seeing, and a little bit of the blue too. They're a little bit metallic to them. Not overly so, but just enough to give it that really neat 
neat metallic shine. The arms can move. Really big feathery arms. I love these. And the back legs can also move. They're a little harder to move because they are so, so big and full of feathers, but not too bad. Just really neat. This little head moves, kind of moves around. It has a little bit more movement than just all the way around too. It has a little bit of side to side and up and down a little bit there. The jaw is also articulated. There we go. Pretty wide opening jaw. Again, the inside of the mouth is sculpted and detailed. The little raptor's face, his eyes, really nicely detailed. Just really pretty. I can't get over how pretty the colors are on this guy. They're just really vibrant. So there are all the fun goodies that you get in this forest accessory pack. Next up is the desert environment accessory pack. Love the artwork on the front of these. They are just so beautifully done. We will go ahead and open this up. The inside of the box again has some instructions. Here is the inside of the box, which looks really cool with that background, which we will look at now. I really like this background on this one. This really bright desert look looks really cool. A great background. Here is the desert accessory pack. I just absolutely love, I have to say it right now, is this amazing skull piece here. Just really, really cool. Very well detailed and sculpted. When I first saw this for the accessory pack, I just knew I had to get this one in particular because of this really, really cool skull piece. I just love the detail in this. It's painted really well and it looks really cool, like very worn and weathered. We'll get a look at how it's not a really smooth skull. It's very worn and weathered looking, which I think is just super duper cool. It looks really realistic. And even the underside of it here is really well detailed and painted. So it looks just like the inside of a skull. The base here is really cool. I'm also sorry I forgot to show the base on the previous set. I love this base. I love how it's painted and detailed. It's just really cool. And all the bases for these sets are different. They're not the same one. Just repainted different colors. They all got different little things on them. Like this one, I love the fact that there are some bones on here and they are painted so you can see them. They look really cool and weathered as well. I love these little like raised up rocks on it. It is just super duper cool. These are some of the little accessories included are some rocks, tannish rock. Again, really well painted, really nicely sculpted. And this one is really cool. It's kind of sticking up rock, really nicely weathered and painted. Looks really nice. And then there is a little base for the little raptor. We have a nest. This nest is different from the other ones again. This one has different painted eggs. These ones look really interesting. They're really kind of like a reddish kind of color, but they don't look like a simple flat red. They have a lot of different kind of colors going on. And again, we got a little baby raptor and the little tiny baby egg here, which looks really adorable. And this one again is painted different. It's painted more like a white and orange and it's coming out of the little red egg. Really cute. And then here is the raptor for this set. This little guy is really interesting. He has got really teeny tiny little arms, but no matter how small they are, you can still pose them, which is awesome. Again, the neck can move as well. I love the color scheme on this one. Looks really cool. I like that really white stripe on its neck and then goes up to its head. Has a pretty red eye, pretty little face. And again, the jaw should open up here. The jaw is not wanting to open too far open for me right now, but it is again, nicely painted. It's actually glossed on the inside too to make it give, to give it that wetness appearance, which looks really amazing and detailed and realistic. 
He has little poseable legs, which again can move like 360 degrees, which is crazy awesome. And also even a little bit to the side. And I love these little legs. They're really tiny and like thin. They look very bird-like. And then his tail matches the rest of his body with this kind of brown coloring, like dark, dark black coloring, and then some tan, and then a little bit of white. Looks really cool. Again, has that really neat dry brush, dry brush appearance, and again has the bendable tail, which I think is just super cool. Then also included are more ball joints, and the ball joints are colored to match the set. And again, more of the little rods and things like that. On to the last set here with really beautiful cover art, and it is called the Wetlands Environment One. Here on the inside, again, we have instructions on the inside of the box. And then this, oh, this looks really cool. This is the inside here. Now, upon opening this, I actually discovered that it looks like the backgrounds of these can actually come out just the one flat part here, which is really cool. But here we have a nice wetlands picture on the back here. Now this set is going to be really fun and interesting because there's actually a lot of clear plastic involved in this one. This base is really cool. It's got a broken tree trunk here, which again, is just really cool, really well sculpted and detailed. And I love, it has like a mud patch here, even with some like little footprints it looks like in the mud and then this is what's really cool is this water section which is actually made of clear plastic so it looks like water and has some stones mixed in there and like a little branch or like a tree root here some leaves you can see on the underneath that actually the whole thing is made out of clear plastic but you can only see these parts because these were painted over but this is just really cool. I love this water effect. Some of the accessories here. This one is like a little accessory fern for your wetlands. This one is like a really cool, kind of almost like the little cattails you see in wetlands, but it is made of clear plastic as well and just painted over. It's got that kind of wetlands vibe to it that looks really, really nice. This is a really cool accessory piece. Probably the coolest thing though is actually this little splash that's made out of clear plastic. It actually looks a little bit like white clear plastic, like it's got a little bit of white to it maybe. So it has that really cool splash up effect. And so it can look like your raptor is splashing through the water, which is just super, super cool. And then this actually might be the right way to do this splash, I'm not entirely sure. But there's the other way you can do this splash. Speaking of raptors, this raptor is really pretty. I love the colors on this one as well. Super gorgeous. And all of these raptors are also really cool because they are based off of like real bird colors and patterns. They look really realistic. This guy is really fun. I love his really long, long nose there, really long snout. And I love the blue coloring on his face. He has a nice detailed eye. His mouth opens up. And again, just crazy detail packed into these little guys with that tongue painted, the teeth are painted, everything is just really amazingly done. I can't get over that. You can see his neck has articulation, his arms have the articulation as well, which is really cool. Again, they can go out like that, and then they can also rotate around in like a 360 fashion. Which is just really cool. The legs are articulated so they can move back and forth and a little bit out to the side. I love this coloring on him. It's kind of like a brown but with a little bit of an orange sprinkled in, a little bit of yellow there on his tail. Again, bendable tails which are really cool. Just really pretty. His feet are gray with little black claws. Very cool. There's a little bit of paint mishap on the back of his legs here. A little bit, but honestly, for all the figures I've had, I haven't really noticed any major like paint flaws or anything. And those aren't even that big of a deal. It's just crazy how well these are done. I'm really, really impressed. We have 
the little nest and this time it's a blue blue eggs with some black like gray speckles on the eggs which looks really nice I love that all these eggs are different colors and things really makes each accessory pack really interesting I think and then again we have a little baby this time this one is like white and orange popping out of that kind of blue gray speckled egg there then we have the ball joints and rods again those were all the nestlings and accessory packs we will go through real quickly and show you some of how these like raptors will scale up to other things. I'll use the nestlings and also just this guy for now and show you how they scale up to some other figures I have laying around. So what we'll look at first is how these guys scale up compared to the Schleich Velociraptor here. This is the red one from the exclusive advent calendar. So here's this raptor uh, scaled up to this, this guy. So the other raptors, the deluxe raptors, are going to be quite a bit bigger than this guy here. But we can see these two actually scale up really nicely with each other. They look like they could be buddies or something. And then we also have the nestlings, which don't really look quite like babies compared to these raptors. They look more like they're teenagers or something next to the Schleich raptor there. Here is how they scale up next to a 6 inch action figure. So they actually scale up really nicely. They look really cool. The, the accessory pack raptors look like really cool little companions for the 6 inch action figures here. And the babies look again kind of kind of big, but they actually look really adorable as well. And they make nice little companions for your 6 inch scale action figures. And now for my model horse people out there, here's how they scale up compared to a Schleich horse. So they are pretty big next to a Schleich horse. I think a, a Schleich horse would be uh, pretty scared of these guys if one was running up towards them. So that is how that guy scales up to him. And then there's the little baby. Pretty big and terrifying for the uh, Schleich horses probably. But they still actually look really neat together. And lastly, here is a Briar traditional horse scaled up next to the accessory pack raptors. And they actually look obviously quite small next to them, but it almost looks kind of like a realistic size, I'd say, considering these raptors were, were rather small. So that is actually a pretty cool size comparison as well, I think. And then of course we have the little, little tiny baby there. These are just really amazing figures, and I can't wait to get the Deluxe Raptors. I can't remember how many there are, but I'm getting all of them, which is like some crazy number, like 14 or so. And I'm really, really excited about them. So that wraps up this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will put down in the link in the description of where you can buy these really cool figures. And I will do a review of the Deluxe Raptors when they come in. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a super wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone!